that's it. Background, background. That's me. Oh yes, sorry, let me uh <laughs> Yeah. Get the chat books up there too. Everybody still there? Did I lose everybody? It's okay if I did. There. If I lost everyone, I'm not upset. Okay. I think I may have figured it out. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. I wonder what's up. Wow. Streamlabs is not having it. PG game logo. Error logo. Video capture, chat box, audio alert. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Is the birthday boy still here? I have no clue what's going on with this thing. I'm gonna give up. We're gonna play something else. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go to Dashboard. Back to dash edit stream info. Yeah, we're gonna play this. Okay. Then we're gonna Browse. And we're going to play Frambo. Discord. I have one new item in my inventory. Bulb boy. Accept gift. All right. Okay, then... <laughs> this is literally the worst. Okay. Then we're gonna... Game capture. Rainbow! Cool. All right. Since it's a spooky game, we're getting spooky. <laughs> After all that suffering, I deserve a Dr. Pepper. It was obnoxious. Oh. There we go. All right. 
I'm gonna reshare. Difficulties. Help if I spell this right. HTTP All right. Oh, I'm not allowed to post for five more hours? Oh, that's rude. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Let's continue. Oh, this is too small for me. Okay. There we go. So where we left off... Um... I was turned into a tree. I was trying, and then I was just like, you know what? Everyone's waiting for me. Everyone would love to watch me not have fun. Something's definitely wrong. I'm gonna have to troubleshoot. Okay. Let the fun begin. Who's all here right now? We got do we got Nana Bobo and Jamie watching. We got Uhime. We got Jill. I don't know if we still got our little birthday boy <laughs> who spent all his mom's money on bits. I do not know this person. It's okay. I only ended up. Turns out uh, they got rid of the auto poster for on GP Love, so no one showed up. I have to manually announce when I'm streaming. Eleanor, what are you doing? Hey, kitty, come here. What is she doing? Come here. Come here. Come say hi. Come say hi to chat. We're gonna have a cat minute. So like only two people showed up to my stream. Wow. It's a cat. What's poppin'? She doesn't look like she's having a good time. Mwah. She walks very slow. My baby old lady. Yeah, my stream yesterday was a buzzkill. Only three people were there. I wanted to at least have four. I only ended up streaming for about an hour because I didn't want to ruin my stats. I don't want to not be an affiliate. So I'm like... <sighs> This whole thing is not working out in my favor. I'm gonna go do a shout out. Alright, anyway, let's play the game! Who's ready? Who's ready? 
Say you're ready. Maybe. Okay. So, where we left off. We escaped the asylum. We helped a very large bug. Um, we combed a squirrel, or comb combed a rat. We combed a tree. Um, we ended up in the house of a Parasiamese twins and did a satanic ritual. We rode a very large frog across the ocean. And now we've been turned into a tree. So we've been captured by some vegetable people. Woohoo, vegetable people. Oh, Kiki Blue, you missed it. So, like, my Elgato's not working for some reason. I'm gonna have to, like, get some support on that tomorrow or something. It's just not connecting no matter what I try. So, I'm gonna end up uh, playing Frambo. The other day we played Frambo. I got turned into a, um... Uh, a tree. We, we, uh, we escaped the mental asylum and everything and yes a root-based vegetable escaped the mental asylum met some bugs met a rat did a satanic ritual and now we're a tree yeah i hope to get mario working next week um wednesday we start our streams for playing through every legend of zelda game so i want to get the elgato working for that if not i can always do an emulator and that's okay but Mario, hopefully, will happen next week. Streamlabs said nope. The Elgato, the app that comes with Elgato, was working. Like, my computer does pick it up. It's literally just Streamlabs. So, I'm going to have to, like, hit up some, some uh, customer service representative and be like, Hey, um... Your app is terrible, and I hate it. So, anyway, let's get on with the adventure. They're speaking in tongues. I'm not even going to try it. I can barely read English. Welcome, creature. My name is Zyre. Do you speak human? So, English is human? Wow. Can I get a Dr. Pepper in the chat? Oh my goodness, yes, finally words I understand. My good friend Ride told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. I wish I could remember the voice I did first. Like, let me explain it to you. I think that was it. Nope, that's me. I am the tree. He was the guy poking me when I got turned into the tree. No need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. I think I hear my cat getting into trouble and I'm very upset. Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of truth. Very common for the bow family tree. Family tree! Bow! Like bow, like the bow of a tree. Your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. She seems, she seems pretty depressed. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protective gates. Interesting. You can see all that in a seed. Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? 
You're not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. Oh, it is Snork Maiden. Moomin! <laughs> oh, Moomin, I love you. You're my best friend. And then when I'm stinky, it's like, ah, I'm stinky and I hate Moomin. <laughs> and then there's another one I'm really good at. Um, with my little Mai voice. Hi, I'm little Mai and I like to bite. <laughs> God, I love Moomin. It's the best. Whenever I'm sad, I just pull up an episode of Moomin I've already watched before, and I'm just like, Moomin. <sighs> All right, you have never been aware of our existence. And Sniff, yeah. How do? Wait, what's something Sniff would say? Guys, wait for me. <laughs> Everyone always forgets about Sniff, especially me. He's kind of a pain in the butt. If none of you are watch doing anything after this, go to YouTube and watch every episode of Moomin. It's good. It's wholesome. Except the first episode. It made me cry because it was really dramatic and kind of disturbing. But, like, Moomin is everything. I just love Moomin. All right. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. I always feel like Aaron Hansen when I do this voice. It's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Oh. I still feel love for my kitty. I can't be dead. Please help me. Little cat, come closer. Let me see what is your name. My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. It's a basic name. If you're naming your black cat Midnight, stop. If you're naming your black and white cat Oreo, stop. <laughs> do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. I have a question. Are you the king? Ha ha ha. You are hilarious. I am the king. The king of Ithursta. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're pretty. Yeah, Midnight Shadow. Stop it. Be original with naming your cats. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. Let me guess. The cat was gray. <laughs> at least, at least in like, um, in Star Trek, they named the striped cat Spot. You know, like, get a cat. Get a cat that's like, orange and name it gray that'd be cute i don't know just like go off maybe get a white cat name it after a famous black person be like this is my white cat kanye gray poop <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny though i just like saying poop on the most important is my aunt she will protect me i want to feel that somebody cares about me I feel confused almost all the time, and I want some place to feel at home, sir. I see you are very brave. I just want to go home. Help me, please. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. Every time I read something out loud, I start yawning like crazy. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it is your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is the door, sir? We'll talk about it later. First things first, you must be able to walk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be very great. 
I am afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Okay, well, I got butt fucked at work. <laughs> That's why I'm tired. Hopefully, tomorrow I have a day off. If they call me in, I'm gonna say no. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. At this rate, I did a yawn emoji. Just like, uh, take a picture of me yawning and be like, uh, yawn champ. I try to be family friendly. Sometimes going to work is not family friendly. Alright. Okay, family stream. Starting now. If you're a child, you're welcome in the stream. <laughs> Yeah, well, I know. Okay, we gotta understand the tree language. How will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Ew! <laughs> He's got good aim, though. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand why I say human lady? Yes, I do, and you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. <laughs> This is like when I do homework and I try to read the book out loud. I'm gonna take a lot of espresso before my next stream. You'll see everything as your own world very soon, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. <laughs> You'll do fine, kitty. You know why I became a tree? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Well, it depends on the height. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Oh, look at this distinguished lad. And look at those legs. That's what I look like when I take my pants off. I just got those long legs. For my height, at least. I got a little torso and very long legs. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. <laughs> Look at how daintily he walks. I'm obsessed with him. Alright, thanks, Kiki. <laughs> is that an axolotl? What is happening? Good day. My name is Palantris, and I'm your doctor today at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. We. I didn't do voices last time, but I like doing voices. It's more fun. She's been dunked in pink lemonade. Here we are. Pink soup. Like, that's what's in my brain. You just... With the can opener. Boop! There's the pink soup. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. You can see uh, Roger Waters of Pink Floyd right here. <laughs> 
The spirit of the great Velakas created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Who is the great Velakas? Uh, I think that's Alka Seltzer, not Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to Thirsta, and his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Eleanor, what are you doing? Are you being a menace? She's so loud. Wow, that sounds grand. Hey, no poopy talk on stream. Well, that sounds grand. I mean, I don't know about other realities. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to Athirsta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again. But then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I would prefer not to talk about this. Oh. I prefer not to talk about this, but Sir Doctor, do you know I became a tree? Is this a metaphor for depression? Like, is this therapy? Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life, so you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this myself? Wow! But, Palantra, sir! How? I didn't know I was doing anything! You really didn't know what you were doing. I see. Well... When you travel to a Thirsta, you open the door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. Hi, Amadoodles. Thanks for coming by. I was trying to play Mario, but that's not working. Alright. There is only one who can... And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black... I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Is he crying a little bit? I can't tell. He looks like he's having a bad day. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you're so nice. You don't have anything to be sorry for. No, Fran, you're gonna ruin the lives for all these beautiful people. This is this guy, Mr. Palantris or whatever, he's definitely her therapist. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Mm hmm, yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. Tree girl, tree girl, tree girl. Let's get a tree girl in the chat. Tree girl. How do you feel, Fran, from Athirsta? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and... Oh, do you think it could fix my mommy and my daddy? Yeah, I want to be a tree. Like, legit, turn my ashes into, like, a, a tree fertilizer. What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had. And you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dearn, but he was an evil old man. <clears throat> an old man? Hmm, I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Aw, oh, she's so cute. 
she's a little tree girl. Here we are again. Show Zyar the king. What a nice earthen ether stand these you've become. <laughs> Thank you again, Doctor. You met my kit. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Cool. I forgot what voice I did for him. I think it was just slow. You fluffy kitty. Ah, oh, do you like that? <laughs> Here I am. Fran, my dear. You've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great earth Ithersthenes you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor's incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Palantris will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about the great wizard? Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has some of the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where's the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand! <laughs> you haven't even gone outside the castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The great wizard lives in the great mountain Cotrum. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare, prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see, so the stones are like keys. And where's the mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. Well, why couldn't Palantras take us to the mountain? He can fly. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Oh, there he is. Okay. Have a great thirst today. And good luck finding the great wizard. Oh. Wow, do you see that huge fluffy creature kitty? That's Palantras. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about the mountain, too. Yes, Mount Cotrum. The great wizard lives there. Let's go! What do I got? I got matches. I got the family photo. I got a book. Oh my god, look, her hand is a tree hand. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I was never fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to silence and become one with everything. Hmm. December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of the Darkness, from the Fifth Reality. It talked to me played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Can I, like, see it? Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside my head. I can see myself around the other... I can see myself around. The other me. Tell me lies. Talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. 
The other me wants to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself, and I have tried, hypnotized by his words. But there is always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. Keep your Kingdom Hearts BS out of this. <gasps> Our vice president. <laughs> I meet a shadow for the first time. It talked to me. Their race was called the Kamalas. <laughs> Submit. I don't want to play Kingdom Hearts for you guys. I just played it and I hated it. Just saying. It was a lot of suffering. A lot of very angry. I was a very I was very angry. A lot of very angry. You want to watch it so very very badly? Maybe I'll stream too. I don't know. We'll see. It kind of was a thing me and Uhime were doing. So, if you want to, maybe. But I don't guarantee I'll play the entire game. Oh boy. Alright. So this is what our vice president is made out of. They hunt <laughs> They hunt weakness and pain. We just finished one, so we're gonna go to calm. And I'm not excited for that one because I don't like cards. Plus I don't wanna stream every game that I play, you know, I need some games to play for myself. So Uh, I asked about it and the possession of the human bodies. It said, we are born and feed from fear and uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Is Nanapobo still there? I haven't heard from them in a minute. Uh, I got HD 60. Sorry. Alright. After seeing the Kamala's reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night I encountered something amazing. The Kamala's transform into new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamala's calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing after a few minutes. A bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If Thirsto waits, all the locusts must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. It di I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. What? Oh, hey guys, I'm hatching an egg in Pokemon Go. Let's see what it is. <laughs> I'm playing two games at once. I don't need one of those. I'm that guy who plays two video games at once. Cool, okay. I don't know. I just... I don't know. My phone is weird like that. It could be my phone disconnecting and reconnecting from the Wi-Fi over and over and over again. And that's why my battery is always dying. Alright. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remor from the fifth reality. If there's a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Athursa may not be a city in this world but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Volokas invitations. Yeah, this is an old ass phone. Since I saw the Volokas, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. I got a visit from my son, Brian. Brian the Pigeon. I told him about the things that I've seen. But he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand the reality. Per 
Yeah, right? I'm just a really cool guy. Who wants to watch me catch a Pokemon? I'm gonna catch... Who am I gonna catch? I got, I got a Mysterious Research. We're gonna catch an Espeon. Okay, you ready? Got a nice throw. <laughs> no! Alright, let's see. No! Okay, let's go to a great ball. Okay. Oops. Oops. Here, here we go. We're gonna catch it. <laughs> no! Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh! <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I'm gonna go to an Ultra Ball. Yeah! <laughs> Two games! Two games at once! There, I caught an Espeon. Now we can see what the professor has to say. Uh, I'm so close to getting Victini. I have to win three gym battles, defeat three Go Rocket Grunts, and win three raids. I know, the professor? Woo! <laughs> He's prettier than Sycamore. All right. Anyway, Frambo. I got a visit from my son Brian, and I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that reality, that the reality presented before my eyes is visible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me, because he's my son. He thinks I'm insane. How long is this journal? Oh, I'm not gonna keep reading this. So this guy has like the legit same experience. Maybe this is Frambo in a past life. All right, what else we got? We still got our exterminator and we got our bloody knife. I'm gonna sit on the throne. No? Okay. All right. <gasps> Leggy guy, leggy guy, leggy guy. No, you can't get it. It's closed. Sorry, I just want to see what's behind this passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in the fall or winter. Then it will be open. Hey, aren't you, ta aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palantris? Yes, that's me. Palantris gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. Yeah, <laughs> yes. But why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes down around the second moon of a Thursday, we open. Only then, the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. What, so you don't learn anything while you're in summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. Well, I'm curious. That's why everything looks so different here in a Thursday. Uh, I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. Well, that's rude. I need to exterminate him. Alright. Uh, we got a door. Oh, I wasn't ready. Okay, cool. Hi, cat. Alright. We got another leggy boy. Are you a guard? Yes. Do you know where Mount Tr Mountain Coachroom is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Well, tell me, please. Hmm, Mountain Coachroom is only in wintertime. 
Winter time? What are you talking about? Mm, of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Oh, but how? Uh, sorry, no, I'm not going to explain things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find the clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. Alright, thank you, sir. Alright. This is a trip. This game is just a trip. Oh. Let's look at fish. So many fish. Uh, what's this? He said straight? I don't remember. Oh, this is quaint. Little village. <gasps> this little girl! What a cutie. Hello! Ah, who is there? Who? Me, friend, can't you see me? Oh, now I see you. I see a little. You have four eyes, wow. Four eyes? I don't. What are you selling? Only the very best plumbers of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? Sure, they look like coconuts. Oh, poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They are not coconuts. Poo, like in the toilet? Wow. I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Oh, he's a, he's a, he's a, um... Dung beetle! <laughs> I'm struggling. Thank you. <laughs> and then Mr. Midnight's licking his junk. <laughs> I'm having a really tough night, guys. Every single night that I stream, I'm just having a really bad time. Let's just... <laughs> bad? Why, it's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Hey, after you going, Nick. Good luck with your plumas. Oh, look at this lanky fella. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day, I'm Pruder. I'm molding this piece of iron. For what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clock maker. Oh, I see. So you know all kinds of metallic stuff. Sure, if you have some ideas, we can talk about them and padam, I'll do it. That's very good to no, know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. I like doing voices, but it thrashes my throat. Alright, so there's a thread guy. Yeah, they don't make clothes here, I guess. Clock guy! Hello, what are you doing? I'm working on my clock. There's some sounds outside. Do you know where I can find the Great Wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. And do you know where Mountain Coachroom is? The Mountain Coachroom only exists in wintertime. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be in Mount Coltrum. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. This time is infinitely layered reality. Oh, a layered reality? That sounds great. What should I do then? How does she know what a layered reality is? I don't even know what that means. Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where's the clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left where you see the stairs. You find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. I used to be able to do Monokuma, Monokuma's voice. I don't remember because I haven't seen um, 
dang and romp on forever. Thank you, sir. You're very nice. Bye. Got a little worm. Some beautiful fruits. She's a human. And there's this guy hanging out. Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read a thir- mm, What's a thirst's language called? A thirnish. Oh, I've only been trying to catch up on Unus Honest. Because it ends on the 13th, so... I have not watched anything else. I'm a tourist. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before. I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome to Thursta. Hope you'll have fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye. Alright, let's go to the big clock. All right. Can I operate it, please? Okay, gotta go clock guy. That's annoying. Sir, I have a little problem. Mm, yes, I don't have any. The big clock on the tree is broken. I can't make it work. Please help me. A broken clock. That's a disgrace, poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you, I have to go home. I never fix the clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. I don't have any coins. Hmm. Then no clock will ever be fixed. Please, sir, as a favor, I need to go home. I can't help you then. Bring me a golden coin or nothing will be fixed. I see. Thank you. I'll see if someone has to get some gold. Okay. Well, let's keep going this way. Maybe we can play chess with this uh, snail. Hello. Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start. I can't see any meaning in the meaningless. What do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? This game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas, I am the Volkas. Black and white as shadows and light. Is this a sort of board game? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I give you quite a few win, eh? What do you say? What are the rules? First to place, three of the same figure in a di diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Sure, sounds like a game we used to play at school called Tic Tac Toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold. I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Alright. Okay. We're gonna be here a while. What are you saying?
Hey! I got a gold. And I win again. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I need more. Alright, I'm done. I got three coins. Well done. You are a master. Cool. Who's this? Good day. Good day, little creature. I have seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. So simple. And could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home. Sadly, these boats only work on if, if they're stunnies. Ah, well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. A little root down. Aw, they think I'm cute. I'm Fran, and you? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma, and I want to sing all day long. What's your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one are two. One and two are three. Two and three are five. And three and five are eight. And I don't remember any more than that. I learned that at school. It's fun. Well, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. Is that a reference to uh, Adventure Time? Alright, I got a coin. Alright. We already had this conversation. Here's your coin. Oh, yes. But you have to offer me the job first, alright? Sir Clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold in the name of, uh, time, I beg of you, accept my offer. I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course. That was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. What a funny little man. He looks like Shiftry. No, I never claimed to say I was good at games. The clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course. Just one second. A second? Whoa! Hmm. Oh, there it is. What is it? It seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. A dirty game, you say? What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral. Breaking a defenseless clock. Ugh. Why would somebody break it? Kamala's, Winter, Mountain Kotram, the Stones. Many reasons, miss. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamala's, the evil darkness. They work for Remor. The terrible black. And Kamala's are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me. Remar wants the stones. But what I don't understand is... For what purpose? Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Is Remar a giant black monster with a gold mask? A dead gold mask? Yes, you know him. I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones. They're my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Aha! That is why you need to go into winter time and go to Mount Kodrum. Yes, exactly. I have to talk to the Great Wizard to borrow the stones. Hmm. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here. <gasps> a thingy! A remote control! You'll be able to travel into all four seasons at just a quick turn. 
but it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layer to reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. Please call me Cogwind. I love Cogwind. He's funny. Alright, Mr. Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Alright, it's winter time. Let's boogie. Or not. Wait a minute. Ah. Hello. Good day, living creature. All good. Hi, Soyjen. Yeah, I was trying to play uh, Mario, and my Elgato's not working. So we're gonna play more Frambo. We are a tree person with legs now. I'm okay. I'm very tired. I've had a busy couple days at work, so sipping my Dr. Pepper, treat myself. But tomorrow I have a day off. So tomorrow, it's going to be my time. Gonna do some research for my streams. Gonna support other people. Because I really haven't had time to support others. So. Woohoo! We had like record sales at work this week. We had, uh, we reached over ten thousand dollars. We reached over eleven thousand dollars in sales yesterday, and then I'm about ten thousand today. So it's about time I have a day off. <laughs> yeah, I work for Starbucks, and they just had the uh, holiday launch yesterday. So everyone's going nuts. Yeah, it's uh pretty nuts. So. I need some sleep. I haven't had a day off in forever. Yeah. I work for a uh, good old Bucky's Coffee Emporium. Is my cat back there being weird? What are you doing? I saw your tail. You want to say hi to Eleanor? <laughs> Let's say hi to Eleanor. Ugh. This is Eleanor. She has her own emoji. Yeah, are you cute? Yeah. She baby. She's actually 12 years old. <laughs> okay, you can go now. Hey, get your claws out of my jeans, though. <laughs> Ow. Just kick my desk. Yep. She's the best. She's got fleas right now, so she's kind of yucky. Yeah, you're a yucky girl. Aw, you're so nice, though. I love her. Alright. Yeah, she's okay. The vet won't see her till the 17th, because everyone else has got fleas, too. So I don't want to live in a city anymore. But it's the only cheap vet. The other veterinary service I wanted to call, I kept getting sent. I kept getting a busy signal, which is weird. Why wouldn't Why wouldn't a veterinary service have a uh, answering machine? But she's doing okay. She's still kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, you ate a French fry today, didn't you? Her favorite food is French fries. Okay, so here we are meeting this guy. I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Are you waiting for somebody? Yeah, I'm gonna stop doing the voice. It's kind of hurting my throat, honestly. I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? They're a bit too sour for my taste, but lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I do with lemons. For the customers of the bar, you know. Customers of the bar... Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for popping by. Yeah, get your work done. I don't want you getting an F on my behalf. 
Let's get an A in the chat for Soy Jen's homework. <laughs> All right. So let's put some other stuff inside so we can fly. Wow, I'd like to try that. That sounds great. That is why I wait. You can't rush it. The bar opens in fall, and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. Sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, we'll pay respects. So I think this is the bar. Let's see. Oh, hello. Good day. Show me your ticket, please. I don't have a ticket. How do I get one? What? All the Thirsty Citizens get a ticket. I think I lost it. But that's impossible. These tickets never get lost because they know where you are. That is why they came to you, and that is why everyone has one. Sorry, but I can't let you in. Alright, sir, I understand, but what can I do then? I'd really like to go inside. I don't know. This never happened before. Hmm. I guess I have to find my own way to get inside. Thank you. Bye. Then I guess that might not be the bar. Where were you? Um, we can go up the stairs. Oh. Okay. Did you see that? Did you? Yes, my dear, I saw it. What was it? I think it's the shadows. I don't want to see them again. Again? Yes, Kitty, they were all over the place in the hospital. I want to go home. We'll go home soon, my dear. Kitty, can you make me a promise that whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side? Of course, my dear, I promise. Great, now you have to keep going. Eleanor, stop! She always sticks her claws in the bowl. It's kind of weird. This mountaintop is very high because it's the top. This looks like a face. Alright. Is this the wizard? Are you the great wizard, sir? No. I'm sorry, sir. I'm Fran, and I need your help. Is this Mountain Cotrum? Excuse me, can you talk? You have too many questions. That's good. Oh, sorry, sir. The king told me you could help me. What the king says we do. Mm hmm I need you to lend me the stones to open a door to my world. The stones are missing, and I don't remember where they are. Every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget, so they can't be found. Oh, I see, but maybe I can help you find them. I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does the rabbit do it? I saw it once. A human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. How? This is the greatest question of them all. Because if nothing exists then the nothing exists. But if the nothing exists, then there is no nothing. I wonder, again, how? Why don't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I have a visitor. Good day. What brings you to the Great Wizard? That means me, just so you know. Good day, sir. The king sent me here for the stones. The stones? Oh, it's been a long time since somebody came around asking for those. I made the most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find them. You know, the black shadows, the Kamalas, they try to steal them all the time. So I have to be sure. The king told me that the stones would open a door to go home. Hmm, the stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Four riddles that will mock my memory. Only when all four riddles are answered correctly, I will be able to tell you where to find five items. These items are the stones and their layered reality. Then, the only one who can bring them back is me. Oh, that was a lot of information, sir. Let me show you. Oh, 
Oh, a pentagram. This is the star of Athirsta. The greatest guide of the sky. The greatest caretaker of this land. Hmm, and what do I have to do, sir? What are the riddles? I'll give you four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one item. Place the items on the star of Athirsta on their respective symbol. And after that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are, where the stones are. Oh, thank you very much, sir wizard. The king told me that you can make me human again. Did he? Hmm, I think that's true. I barely remember how to do it, though. You don't remember, but I can't go home like a tree. I understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. Perhaps we can try to make you human again after you find the first stone. That would be incredible. Yes, incredible and great. Just try to figure out riddles and guess. Uh, I guess everything will be fine. Sir, do you need something special to become human? I think the smell is very important, if I remember correctly. So bring me your clothes and we'll see how it goes. Can you explain the riddles again? I forgot what to do. Okay. I did get that part. Alright. So I need to get my clothes, which are on the other side of the lake. Which I can't cross in the winter? Oh. Oh. That makes me sad. Palantris, sir? Wait, don't go. He looked really bad, Kitty. Was that the doctor? Maybe he can cure himself. I hope so, Kitty. He was so hurt he lost his feather. I wonder what happened. Uh... I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps your a sour smile will get you. Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance to the rising stream. Light and hollow, I'm the freedom of birds and the pen of men. Alright. Let's get in the boat. We're going for a ride. Alright, let's get our clothes. Wow, that island's very tiny. Woohoo! This is where we were before. Wow, Kitty, you're very clever. I hope we can find my things. I can't find my pills. Maybe the pills are not here. Maybe you lost them. Well, they weren't doing me good anyways. Maybe they'll appear someday. Let's keep going now. Okay, we got my clothes. But no pills. Alright. That was a fishing pole. Alright. Oh, he's uh, taking lemons. I take all the lemons the basket can carry. That means all the lemons from the tree. Aunt oh, Grace had one. Okay. Never went over here. 
Oh, this is weird. What a huge Velocus. It's not real, though. What are you? You look like the fairies of my books. The purest of feelings. The light of all material. We are Velocus. Oh, you're very shiny, and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature. One of the young Velocus will receive the shield. Ooh, she had a shiver there. Soldier of the sun, creature of the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh, where are you all going? We continue our path to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir or miss? Hmm, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You're full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents and why that big monster is hunting me. The truth will come to those who, you, who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let go. But... Dear, don't be sad. We have to keep on going. Yes, Kitty, you're right. Alright, what are these? Okay, that doesn't really do much. Hmm. Interesting. Come closer, Fran. I have the one thing you desire. I have what you are looking for. Mommy, is that you? Mommy? My beloved daughter, come closer. Let me feel you. Mommy, I'm scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. You have to come closer, Fran. I want to kiss you. But you can't be my mother. She's dead. You have to come closer now. If you don't, the big monster will come and get you. No, you're not my mommy. Leave me alone. My darling, the big monster will come and get you. He will come and get you. He will come and get you. Mommy, you're scaring me. Mommy, stop it, please. I did not like that. I did not like that at all. Hmm. Yeah, that was, uh, not good at all. Okay, turns out this guy is building the same boat all year round. No one's here in the winter. Clock guy is not here in the fall. But... In the fall and winter, I can go to the library. I forgot about that. So, let's go to the library. Stop right there. Do you have the password? Oh no, what password? The library password, of course. You must have it to come inside. 
Do you know who has the password? Yes, the great wizard, of course. He knows everything. Hmm. All right, everyone, see the find the pa see if I can find the password then. Well, that's a walking. She's gonna get her steps in. Ugh. What an interesting time. Can you explain? Th okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's see. I am cold. I'm cold as I am. But if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile I'll get you. Maybe that's a lemon? Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. That might be the fish. Light and hollow, I'm the freedom of birds and the pen of men. That's a feather. This one I don't know. I think I have a feather. Um. Uh. Yeah, f symbol four. Okay. That's a fish. This one I don't know. There might be something that's in the bar. I need to figure out how to get a ticket. But I have a fishing rod. I'm just not sure... I don't know what this is for. And this guy won't let me in. Okay, so let's go fishing. We can figure that out. So fish are here. But I have this broken... It doesn't have a hook and the fishing line is too short. Is there anyone who could fix it for me? Probably this guy. Hi, what are you doing? I'm Pruder. Okay. Um, here's some metallic stuff. Well, I need to make a hook. Why can't I just tell him that I need a hook? Hmm.
Maybe I need to bring him metal? I really don't know. I want to know what this thing has to do with anything. Maybe there's a picture of it in here. I guess not. Hmm. I can't beat him to the lemons. Unless I can buy a lemon. No, when I click on the ladder, it just says that I have no use for the ladder. Which is really weird. This is very weird. I feel like I have the right idea, but I'm just missing something. Usually when I play this game, Mana Bobo's here, and they're not here, and I'm like, rude. Can I talk to the guy? Nope. Okay. Yeah, say so click on the ladder. I don't have any need to climb that ladder. So I think I need to be able to get into that building. Oh, it's not even here in the winter time. That's weird.
Very weird. Honestly, God, I have no clue what I'm doing anymore. Maybe he's got some string. really don't know. Need the password. Yeah, it kind of does. don't know. I need a fish and I need a lemon. And then I don't know what I'm cold as I am, but if you use me I'll be burning hard means. Interesting. I'm a terrible person and I did a, I looked up a walkthrough. All right. So then you change it to springtime and summertime. Then he takes it. Walks away. And there you got a lemon. Hey. Oh. I've been doing everything I need to do just executing it in the wrong way. So...
I found a fishing rod. It's broken. Can you help me? Let me see. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that goes with this rod? You just said the exact thing, same thing someone else said back at the hospital. Really? Who? What hospital? The Oswald Asylum, sir. The nurse said when I broke the curtain. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. You're quite strange. Well, let's forget about it. Can you please make me a hook? Yes, let's do it. If you give me one coin, I'll give you half a hook. If you give me two coins, you get an entire working hook. I don't need half a hook. I need the whole thing. The whole thing will cost you three coins. One coin for half the hook, two for working one. Deal? You're complicated. I'll bring you your coins soon. All right. Let's play more checkers or tic-tac-toe. All right. Okay. Seems like no one won that one. Okay, I guess I lost my entire brain capacity. Yeah, I'm eternally at soup. I'll be here a minute.
struggling. <sighs> this is a children's game. Boom! There we go. Yeah. All right. Not you. You. Oh. Uh. Okay. Now I got a hook. Now I just need to find a tie. Okay. Where do I get the thread? I don't know where to get thread. Yeah, I'm straight up struggling. Okay, go to the top. I'm trying to figure out how to get thread. Duh, I'm looking right at it. Maybe I'm so stupid. I'm like, where's the thread? It's like right in front of me. Alright. I'm literally so stupid. It's also very late and I'm very tired. How much? Well, let's see. All right. Let's combine. All right, now I got a fish. And because I'm a cheater and a terrible person, it's a match. The last part of the thing is a match. All right. 
Alright, so this one's a match. Then this one's a lemon. And then this one's a fish. Okay. I smell victory. I smell delicious victory. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I'm ready. Let's bring the stones back. Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, we'll start with the fire. Okay. Coachroom has awakened. Coachroom is alive. On top of the mountain, he'll be waiting for you. He has many... He has my lovely wizard hat. Bring it to me. Ah, your hat? Yes, the stones are hiding in my wizard tools. That's why I can't remember a thing. But now I'm remembering. Go to the top of the mountain and find Kotram. And come back when you have the hat. Then we can do other things. Alright, sir. I'll bring you your hat. Okay. Going back top. Aww, he's wearing a little hat. Who dares wake me up? Who? Oh my goodness, you're alive! I'm sorry to bother you, sir. I'm Fran. Fran, I see. I don't know what that means. Well, I don't really know what it means. It's just my name. Alright, mine is Kotram. Do you want to know why? Sure. Tell me. Kotram means born in heaven. I used to be a star. Yeah, he got a little hat. And because I was born in space, it's very logical. Oh wow, I've never met a star person. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Fran. So what brings you here? The great wizard told me to get the hat, so if you don't mind. Hmm, I can't do that. I'm divorced. What do you mean divorced? I just need the hat, sir. It's very important. I can't. If I give you the hat, the entire land will suffer. You'll have to find, find another way to get home. The king told me that there's no other way. Please help me. I told you I can't. My wife left me. She was the one covering my top. If I take off the hat, my magma can erupt and kill everyone. Where is your wife now? Maybe I can make her come back. She she decided it's time for her to start her own island. So she broke up with me. I didn't get the chance to ask her why. I miss her so much. So she's on her own island? Do you know where she is? I think she's on the water. water. Otherwise, I feel strongly feel her presence strongly but I don't oh my love my beloved wife I'll go and see if I can find her all right then you give me the hat well if she comes back otherwise you know what can happen can't I put something else on top of your head like a rock or something instead no I like this hat all right I'll be right back that's really sad but I think I know exactly what he's talking about uh, I know you are all alone. Let me be your mommy. Let me feed you. Come to my side. And you'll have many new friends to play with. I don't want you as my mommy. You look very scary and I don't like you. Who's texting me? Fran, who are you talking to? The woman... It's nothing, kitty. Okay, that was weird. Okay. So you want to look like the girl from that movie where she climbs out of the TV? Hello, miss. Wake up. I have a message for you. Oh, hello, a messenger. What a good day. Yes, miss. I'm the messenger of love. Of love? Oh, you but you're not pink. Pink? No, I'm brown and green. I'm the brown and green love messenger. <laughs> Does the messenger lo of love have something to share? Yes, of course. I'm here in the name of love to bring you back to your husband. No, he made me very sad. Nobody has the right to make me sad. Yeah, the ring. Well, maybe he didn't mean to harm you. What did he do? He was so hot, and I fell in love with that. But lately, he was cold and boring. So I left aside. I cried so many times. He used to grow beautiful red flowers just for me to show his love. But this year, nothing came. And you know what? I'm the one protecting him all the time. So I want the credit for that, that's all. 
But miss, if I find that flower for you, would you come back? I guess, but I have no hope. Besides, I'm the ruler of my own island now. I'll go and see if I can find the red flower. Do you know where it grows? Always at the bottom. It's very different from all the other flowers. The bottom of what, miss? My husband's bottom, of course. Bring it to me and I shall return to him. Okay. That seems easy enough. Red flower at the bottom. There it is. Oops. Hold in here. I found it. Look, the red flower. Oh, thank you. It looks beautiful. You're indeed a great messenger of love. Thank you, miss. We should go back to your husband right away. He really misses you. I'll see you there in winter time. It's very nice to see you two together. Now I would like to have the hat, please. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Come on, my darling. Climb on top. Ah, I am Dr. Love. And here's the hat. Thank you again. Thank you, sir. I have to go and give the hat to the great wizard now. Bye. Alright. So I'm going to pop on in. Give the guy his hat. Did you find the hat? It should be on top of coach room. Yes. Here's your hat, sir. My hat. I feel the knowledge flowing through my body. I feel happy. That's great, sir. What's next? The gift from the soil. The fruit. Okay. The creation of selective random elements. So we can eat. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it, it's incredible. The fruit is talking to me now. It says, the book. My book of knowledge. It's in the library, but be aware. The book may be hiding, so you have to be persistent and patient. Good, sir. I'll go to the library then. Wait, there's a password. You'll need to go inside. Let me think. Think. It must be something about how we learn, or... Hmm. I remember it. The password is... Your basic senses are easily manipulated. Shut them down before learning. I'll try to remember that. What does it mean? means that many times we let our understanding be manipulated. We should always try to use our common sense. Nobody should ever tell you what to think or believe. You'll be hungry for knowledge, and you'll find yourself in constant evolution. That will make you free to cherish every second of your life. I think it's very fun to think and learn and be curious. Helps a lot. I'll be going to the library now to find your book. Alright. Oh, they made a little snowman. Oh. Do you remember, Fran? You are a murderer. You are a nutty little girl. Nutty girls must be punished. Oh. Do as I say. 
do as I do, Fran. Jump. I didn't want to kill them. I didn't want to. Oh, my dear, don't listen to those evil things. You're strong. Let them out of my head, my dear. Am I crazy, kitty? Tell me. No, my dear, you just have to be strong. Don't let them play with your head. Oh, my kitty, I feel completely broken. My chest hurts. Oh, my dear, I'm here for you. Don't cry. I love you so much. So she had to kill her parents? That's, uh, kind of sad. Stop right there. Password is... Your eyes and ears are limited sensors. Shut them down before learning. Good, and why is that? Because only then we can really see. Knowledge is everywhere, even in darkness and silence. You can come inside. Have fun. Fun isn't hard when you got a library card. Look at all these studious chums. What are you doing? I'm looking for my special book. Why are you standing on the ladder? You have wings. Because the ladder was made to be used, of course. What if I needed to use it? Then you should wait your turn. But what if it's an emergency and I can't wait that much? Then you should have arrived earlier than me. Sorry, but I have to keep looking. Okay. Hey, can you tell me the right combination for the lock? No, miss, I can't. I haven't learned that at school yet. What is the special book you're reading about? It's about two bunnies making dinner, and then three of their friends come over. So then there are five bunnies eating dinner. They eat carrots, you see? Oh, they will eat dinner. It looks like they are having carrots. Oh, that's a beautiful book. Yes, now I'd like to keep reading, please. Of course. Hello, sorry to bother you. Yes, dear, what's wrong? I need help with the lock. I don't really understand the meaning of it. Well, it's equally as easy as adding one and one together. Oh, I see. Thank you. I'll try again. One and one. Then... That little, the little kid who was doing the little rhyme. This will be the answer to the rhyme that the kid did. So one. I really don't know. Okay. One and one is two. And is that two? Three. Or when in doubt. Oh. One, two, three, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The E with the two dots. Shh! Nana Bobo's not here watching, so they can't make fun of me. Thirteen. It's Fibonacci sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. Shh. One, one. 
two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty one. I don't know why it's not working. Turn the handle three times. Where's the handle? Oh. Shh. Oh. Two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one. That's weird. What happens if I turn the time? I thought I did it. Oh no, I didn't. I know why. This is wrong. I need to do this one. There we go. All right, now I can turn the lever. the book. Alright. Uh, okay. Gross. I hate this. But now that I got the book, I can go give it to the wizard. I still have a lot to do. I'm getting tired. I don't want to give up though. Oh boy. All right. Give the book to the wizard. Here's your book. It was inside the musical box. I saw the doll. The Itward Lock. That sounds like fun. Thank you for the book. This certainly makes me remember many things. Many, many things. And now what? There are two things left on the star. Yes. Fish in the water. Okay. Fish, fish swimming free. Go back, little fish, go home. Wow, well, sir, you woke up the fish. Yes, because I remembered how to do it. Isn't it beautiful? That's magical, sir. Can you do that with other beings, like humans? Of course, but only if circumstances are positive. But the circumstances are often not positive. I see, sir. Hmm, so we need to find the missing stones, yes? The fish told me that my, my shoes are on the feet of the amazing dancer. 
Do you know where this dancer could be? I have no idea. I think I know. I'll go and see. Okay. This is the, uh, doll, probably. This guy. He's dancing. There we go. Hello. Glad you're still here. All right. We have the cat go inside. She can take someone else's. Or he can take someone else's. We'll just borrow it, Kitty. We'll give it back later. All right. Ooh, we get to play as the cat again. All right. Self playing piano. Face on the wall. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at this funny guy! He's dancing. Oh! There we go. What if I replace... Nah. Alright. I have the ticket. I have it. You're incredible, kitty. I love you so much. Now we can go inside. All right. Look, sir, it seems that I have a ticket found a way. Seems that a ticket found a ticket found a way to get into my hands. What? Let me see it. Hmm, this can't be right. It just I already let someone in with that ticket. You bring many mysteries, little lady. How do you know it's somebody else's ticket? The symbols are correct, but look at the handwriting. This belongs to someone much older than you. I can see it. Alright then, is there any chance I can get inside? I mean, is it possible? When you have your own ticket, little lady, you're more than welcome. Okay. What if I... Combine it and write in my own handwriting. Yes. This is my own ticket. I see. Simply, you drew it yourself. Yes, I thought it was the right thing to do. I wasn't invited, so I invited myself. Very clever. Well, I guess I can let you in. Enjoy the show. Thank you, sir. Everyone's partying. Okay, now that I'm here. Um, the dancer. I need your shoes. Why won't you answer me, please? He's concentrating, I think. Hello, dancer mister. I need to take your shoes. And why is this? The shoes belong to the dancer. I'm a dancer, and I need them to dance with the wizard. I'm sorry, what'd you just say? I want your shoes! You want what? A little lemonade? You seem a little tense. No, sir, I don't want lemonade. Where'd you get your shoes? Hmm, you should drink a little lemonade, at least to drown your thirst. Sir, let me explain. I need your shoes. The wizard needs them. 
Oh, that's impossible. I can't give you my shoes. The only way to get my shoes is to take them from me. And as you see now, I'm standing on them, so it's impossible. But if you lift your feet, I could take them. It can't be done. Only the very day when both my feet are up in the air. Well, then can my shoes be taken. Otherwise, I will stand forever. Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. Bye. Okay. Gotcha. There we go. My shoes now. All right. And we'll give a shoes to the wizard. Sir, sir, I have the shoes. They're very pretty. Look. Oh, you did it. You really have an extraordinary machine inside your head. I just used my phone. Thank you, sir. Now let's do the last one so I can go home. The last one. Air. Hmm, I recognize this feather. It belongs to Palantris. Yes, I saw him. Very injured. Hmm, he'll be fine. He has the pink water. That can fix everything. Yes, that's true. Well, what do we do with the feather? Hmm, <laughs> go visit old Velocus mechanical doll. My wand will be there. I, I have to finish my rabbit science. I think I have the answer. Oh, okay, sir. I'll bring your wand back. Okay, now we go to the doll. And the wand is there. Let's see how this works. the right idea. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I want to go to bed. For real, dude. There we go. Got it. That one wasn't so hard.
Here's your wand, Sir Wizard. Oh, magnificent. Splendid. You did it. Really? But where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can't lend you the stones. The stones are very special. What I can do is place the stones on the locks of the door. But you're the only one who can turn the key and actually open the door. Oh, I see. The king told me he would show me where the door is. Ah, then we should go talk with him, don't you think? Wait, I suspect you can't return home looking like a tree. Almost forgot. Yes, you're right. Can you bring my human body back? Yes, I can. This is exciting. I haven't done this in hundreds of years. Let's make a human, yes? Give me your clothing. I need to smell it. Here, sir, my clothing. Let me smell this. This can work. We will make a human. Well, this is so exciting. Good. Now go to the center of the Star of Thirsta. And think about your body. Your head, your leg, and the other leg, and your arm, both of them. Now concentrate. Randomly selected elements. Find your path to your true essence. Become Fran, the human now. Oh, that is not cute. I don't like that. Huh. Are you alright? Uh, what happened? Is it done? Oh, wow, thank you so much, sir. You really are a great wizard. Yes, that's my name, Great Wizard, because of the greatness. Hmm, I think we have to go to the king now, so he can show me the door. Yes, I'll, I'll be right there. I have to finish something. I'll be there. Go now. Alright, cool. We're a human now. Uh, everything is fine. It feels like heaven. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go now. We kill traitors because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty's not a traitor. He promised me to be by my side. He promised. As your mommy and daddy did. Who promised to take good care of you? Wake up, Fran. You're surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friends alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the one who's always by your side. Now let's get rid of this traitor, eh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. I don't like that. Go away. Go away. It wasn't me. I didn't like that at all. Friend, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry that you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and became human again. That is very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. Yeah, right? I'm gonna... I don't want to hurt you, my dear. And I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that. Because you love me. Yes, Kitty. I do love you very much. Fran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. Uh, it's the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters in you. Now let's go and open the gate so you can go home. Yes, let's do this. Alright, so he's going that way. Here we are. Yes, but where is the door? Oh, right. I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. Alright, here we go. The human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality. If I were her, I'd rather stay here. Wow, we're going home, kitty. Ho oh, ho ho, Zyre the King. Good day to you. I brought the stone so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It'll be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. A very magical place. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Velocus. She is not, and she is not ready. Oh, I see. 
What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard, place the stones. We have no time to lose. But ready for what? You know, what the Volk has told you about facing your truth? Ah, uh, yes, I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You're the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow. All right, let's see. Okay. Um... I don't know why or how this works. Pink, red, yellow, pink, green. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, there we go. I smell victory again. You did it, Fran. You can go home now. I'm so excited. I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. We won't forget you. You're a very special creature. I almost forgot. Palantras gave me this for you. Okay, a cool box. Thank you. Tell Palantris that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. But anyway, I'll tell him and don't worry. Palantris is better now. Oh, oh, before you go, you must know. Before you return to your reality, you will go through the secret woods. The woods are a kind of invisible passage between our realities. And you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. But just run. They're quite slow. And you're telling me this now? Huh. That sounds very scary. Don't worry. You'll do fine. I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight says goodbye. Let's go now. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I like you very much. Goodbye. Yeah, I'd rather stay there. That was a nicer place. <laughs> Alright. Hey, that looks like the monster from... Uh it looks like the mountain monster from Hilda. This is like the dinosaur game on Google Chrome. Oh my god. Anyway, we get it. Alright. That's chapter three, I guess. Cool. So we are no longer a tree. Then I guess next week we'll do uh, chapter four. So sorry I couldn't get Mario going. I know you guys want to see Mario really bad. Um, I'll try to troubleshoot what's wrong with uh, Streamlabs and everything. But thanks for hanging in. I know you guys weren't very chatty near the end there. I'm getting tired and you can tell. So... But hope you all have a good night. So I'm streaming again on Monday, I think. If I'll uh, post.
post my schedule on Monday anyway. I think it's Monday. Yeah. I'll probably play if I can't get Streamlabs to work. Then I'll um. I don't know. I'll find out. I'll keep you guys updated. So. Everyone have a good night.